It's Red Sylvain's teddy bear. That's got two million hits, over two million hits on the internet. So let's give it a try. I was on the outskirts of the little southern town, trying to reach my destination before the sun went down. The old CD was blaring away on channel 19 when there came a little boy's voice over the radio line. And he said, Breaker 19, is anybody there? Come on, black truckers, and talk to Teddy Bear. Well, I keyed the mic and said, you got it, Teddy Bear. And the little boy's voice came back on the air. Appreciate the break. Who we got on that end? Jamie Moe. I told him my handle. And then he began. Now, I'm not supposed to bother you fellas out there because mom says you're busy and, but you see, I get lonely and it helps to talk. That's about all I can do because you see I'm crippled and I can't walk. Well, I came back and told him to fire up that mic that I would talk to him just as long as he liked. This was my dad's radio, the little boy said. But I guess it's mine and mom's now because my daddy's dead. Dad had a wreck about a month ago. He was trying to get home in a blinding snow. And mom has to work now to make ends meet. And I'm not much help with my two crippled feet. She says not to worry that we'll make it all right. But I hear her crying sometimes late at night. You know, there's one thing I want more than anything else to see. Oh, I know that you guys are too busy to be bothered with me. But you see, when my dad was home, why, he used to take me for rides. But I guess that's all over now since my daddy died. Not one breaker came on the old CB as that little crippled fella talked with me. And I tried hard to swallow a lump that just wouldn't stay down as I thought about my boy back in Reedsville Town. Dad was going to take Mom and me with him later on this year. Well, I remember hearing him saying, Someday this old truck will be yours, Teddy Bear. But I guess I'll never get to ride an 18-wheeler again. But this old base will keep me in touch with all my trucking friends. Teddy Bear's going to back on out now and leave me alone because it's about time for Mom to come home. But you give me a shout when you're passing through, and I'd be glad to come back to you. Well, I came back and said, before you go, 1010, watch your home 20, little CB friend. Well, he gave me his address, and I didn't want to hesitate, because this hot load of freight is just going to have to wait. I turned that rig around on a dime and headed straight for Jackson Street 229. As I rounded the corner, oh, I got one heck of a shot. Eighteen wheelers were lined up for three city blocks. Well, I guess every driver for miles around it caught Teddy Bear's call. And that little triple fellow was having himself a ball. For as fast as one driver would carry him in and put him down in his chair, another driver would pick him up and take him out to his truck and take off again. Well, you can believe that I took my turn at riding Teddy Bear, and then I carried him back in, and I put him down in his chair. And, buddy, I want you to know that if I never live, to see happiness again. I saw it that day in the face of that little man. We took up a collection for him before his mom got home, and then each driver said goodbye, and they were all gone. He shook my hand with a mile long grin and said, so long, trucker, I'll catch you again. Well, I hit that interstate with tears in my eyes, turned on the radio and got another surprise. Breaker one nine came a voice on the air, just one word of thanks from Mama Teddy Bear. We'd like to pray a special prayer for each and every one of you. Cause you just made my little boy's dream come true. I'll sign off now before I start to cry. May God ride with you, 10-4, and goodbye. Thank you. And thank you.